Hello there. My name is Leanne. Welcome to Road Scholar's Instagram tutorial. We know that most of our followers aren't using Instagram yet, but we feel it's a tool that you'll really love. So I am here to walk you through the basics of setting up your account as well as using Instagram for the first time. But what is Instagram, you might ask? Instagram is a free online photo sharing application and social network platform that allows users to edit and upload photos and short videos on their mobile device. It's a great tool to record your travels like a live scrapbook or share your photos with friends and family. You can learn about new places by browsing photos taken in locations across the world or discover new interests like travel, cooking, and crafts. You can also practice your photography and photo editing. Follow your own personal heroes, stay in touch with old friends and connect with new ones, and above all, try something new and age adventurously. Convinced? Well, you're still here, so let's get started. All you need is a smartphone and an open mind. Let's take a look at your phone. This video was created using an iPhone. If you have an Android or other smartphone, your screen may look a little different. Make sure you have your Apple or Google password handy. You may need it later. First, open the App Store for iPhones or Play Store for Androids. Touch Search at the bottom of your screen and type in Instagram. On my screen here, you'll see the cloud icon, but you might see Get or Install next to the pink and yellow Instagram icon. You may need to enter your Apple or Google password. Once the app downloads, Find it on your home screen and touch it to open the app. Then choose sign up with phone or email. In the next screen, touch email at the top of the screen and enter your email address in the open field. Then touch next. Next, Instagram will ask for your name and to create a password. Enter your first and last name here along with a unique password and touch next. Be sure to choose a password you'll remember or write it down somewhere safe. Instagram will now ask you for a username. This username, also sometimes called a handle, is essentially the title or name of your Instagram page and a way for friends to identify it besides using your name. Instagram will suggest a username for you. You can use that one or select a username that represents you or your Instagram page and feel free to get creative. Maybe try travelinggram45 or Boston Girl 1952. Remember that usernames must be unique for each user on Instagram, so you may need to add a number at the end of your username to make it unique. Once you've found your unique username, read the Terms and Privacy Policy if you'd like, or click Next. In the next two screens, you can choose to connect to Facebook or search your contacts if you want to start adding friends now. We recommend that you choose Skip and come back to this later. You can also touch skip on the next screen about your contacts. Next, you'll be prompted to add a profile picture that friends can use to identify your page. Touch add a photo. If you have a photo already saved on your phone that you'd like to use, touch choose from library. If you don't have a photo already, touch take photo. Once you've selected your profile picture, touch next. Instagram will give you some suggestions of people you may know or pages you may like. To follow them on Instagram, touch follow next to their names. To connect with your Facebook friends on Instagram, touch connect here. Then touch connect to Facebook and open. In the next screen, touch continue. Touch follow next to any friends you'd like to follow or choose follow all at the top to follow all of your Facebook friends. And that's it. You've just created your Instagram account. Congratulations. This is easier than you thought, right? Okay. In the coming weeks, we will be releasing videos with more in-depth Instagram tutorials to show you how to navigate the app, how to post a photo or a video, and more. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and visit us online at ageadventurously.org. Get creative and have some fun.